Hi friends, Tilly here. And I have another um, video that I'm shooting a little early and won't put it on for a while yet. This is my second um, uh, C CCL, Creating a Crafty Life, um, swap for the month. And I th think probably this will be the last one for January. Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to see. But I do have some sewing that needs to get done. So um, I wanted to get these two. Uh, the tag that I showed you previously. And now the um, recipe card. And this is another thing that I've never done before. So I took the measurements that were given um, in the instructions. And I'm reading, let's see, 4 by 6. Okay. And... It is a romantic sweet recipe card. So I'm doing romance with little with little candy hearts and um, some chocolate, of course. That <laughs> that to me is romance. Um, the uh, one that I chose was the Mexican chocolate bread pudding. It's really good folks really really good um but it my card back to it i cut out my card stock or the you know the thing that i can't remember what the name of it is um that heavy um heavy you know like uh, cereal boxes why in the world i can't think of a chipboard duh okay it just came um that disconnect you know that happens when i press the record button just i don't know something just connected there for a second um I put, uh, cut that out, and I didn't really do anything to it. This one just happened to be white um, on both sides, and so that's the way I left it. The only thing I did do was um, use my chocolate chip. I th oh, no, it, actually, it's Bravo Burgundy, but it turns out to be kind of a chocolate color. And by golly, I thought I did have the chocolate chip. Hmm, I may go over it again. I do have chocolate chip. I may go over it again. I may go over the edges again just to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, but then I put, uh, this is, I'm not sure. I had torn it out of one of my books and was not as coordinated as the rest of you ladies where you put the pieces back into the um you know, into the pads where you actually got the original piece of paper. So I can't, I can't really tell you what paper this is. Um, but I used a, a pink with a kind of pale polka dots and then um, my printout, because they did want it printed, not handwritten, um, recipe. And uh, then what I did was use the um, cupcake, you know, from the... Um, this one okay and ran it through my big shot and but I did cut the uh, candle off I ran uh, I ran it through with two uh, two pieces of paper one of them this um, paler uh, tan looking and the other one with uh, um, a true chocolate you know, chocolate brown uh, color. Then I wasn't quite satisfied with the look of that. It was just no dimension at all. And so what I did was use some of the cement, you know, that you make with the the glue um, and the water and the paint. Um, I just used it and f mixed some um, tint from, uh, I think it's Tim Holtz, um, the Distress Inks. I used some tint, and you know, as much as I used, I couldn't get it to really go deep chocolate, but I was able to take it from the stark white down to almost a mocha, so that was good. So I frosted the, um, the brown uh, paper, I glued it to the tan paper, and then just used a little... Uh, I have a little calligraphy. Um, they're markers, actually, but um, one tip is they call a calligraphy tip. And so I made the little marks with that. Then I cut out with my... Um, I don't know what I did with... Oh, here it is. 
with this little punch, I cut out a lot of little bitty hearts and made them into what I hope look like those little, um, you know, those little hard candies with hugs and kisses and all that on them that we had when we were kids. Well, they still have them. Um, I just stuck them into the uh, icing, and of course they stayed because it is mostly glue. Um, then the the Hershey's Kisses I made um, out of what? Oh, here it is. I have a, an old heart stamp, and so I made the um, heart, and then I cut the bottom, uh, you know, the, the two lumps that make the top of the heart. I cut that off and turn it upside down, and hopefully it looks like a Hershey's Kiss. Then my husband said that wasn't just quite enough, so I he threw the uh, aluminum foil down to me, and so I cut little pieces of aluminum foil out and wrapped each one of the kisses in uh, some aluminum foil and pasted that um, on here along with the little uh, with the little papers that um, that are you know in a in a Hershey's kiss and then put a little kiss down here um, I did use some of the um, Stampin up it's uh, pretty in pink that I used around the um, just to distress the the actual recipe itself and I used it on the back side also um, just to make it pop out just a little bit and this the back side really is just for the the remainder of the directions um, it's also burnished with the uh, uh, with the Stampin' Up! ink and a few um, hearts are there. Am I saying I'm a whole lot tonight? I think so. I must, I'm getting tired, I think. Um, there's another one. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, I think, I think this is all I'm going to do with this one. I think it's finished. Um, I'm going to get ready to uh, pack these up also, so everything is ready to go towards the end of um, January, and so I have a little uh, clearing to do down here and God bless my mess before I get started on my sewing projects that I've got lined up. So like I say, I think this is probably the end of my, um, the end of my swap. Some of you women, I don't know, Stephanie, you're one of them. I don't know how in the world you do the swaps you do in a month's time. I just don't have it in me to get that much done. And so, you know, that's the way, that's the way I roll. Just not as fast as you guys are. But those are my cards. Those are my recipe cards. And I'm hoping that the girls like them. I'm hoping they enjoy them. And and have some fun with them and I hope they like the recipe too so um, I'm gonna clear start clearing things off down here and get to getting some sewing done and if I can get some embroidery embroidery work done too in the very near future I'm on some things that I'm starting to plan for um, craft shows this ne you know this next year um, that I like to make sure that it's all done and um, my stock is all complete before we ever get close to signing up for any of these shows because it's silly to go without any stock. So uh, that's what I'll be working on for the most part, but I'll show you on and off what I'm doing when I do want to get some embroidery work done. Um, with my new machine on some of the pieces that I'm going to be working on. So when I get that done, I will let you know. And there's also a baby gift in the making um, that I might uh, might get to make a video on. We'll see how that turns out and just how um, fast I am at, <laughs> at getting it done and videoing it and getting it to the baby before uh, they start college. So this is Procrastinating Tilly signing off and hope you guys New Year's started off really well. Bye-bye for now.